Hey, good afternoon, guys, or is it good morning? I'm not sure what it is yet. But guys, hope you're having a great Thursday so far. This is Coach Bill with uh, Bill Mabry Online Coaching. And uh, let me go ahead and set my clock so I don't take up too much of your time. Hey guys, today's topic is uh, about one of the best uh, fasting protocols and eating plans that uh, Emily and I have come up with uh, in the last few years. You guys all know that follow me that Emily and I, uh, we do uh, intermittent fasting, we do alternate day fasting as well, and we also incorporate all that with uh, fasting mimicking meals that you guys um, probably know as keto meals. But these, is, these are true keto meals. These aren't dirty keto meals. You can look up what dirty keto, uh, keto meals mean. But anyway, I want to get on here, guys, because I want to do, uh, I just want to let you know that uh, over the years, we've been doing trial and error on all kinds of different uh, fasting protocols. And uh, to add lean muscle and burn that belly fat or body fat at the same time, or like we're like we were like we're at now, we're looking to uh, maintain our lean body fat or keep our body fat where it is, but we still want to add lean muscle. And so we've worked, we've tried all kinds of different fasting protocols. Um, we, we always do the fasting mimicking meals though. You know, if you're looking to really lose that belly fat or body fat, and if you're looking to balance the hormones that are causing you to gain that weight or activating the hormone that is designed to uh, gain body fat, and activate the hormones that are actually going to help you lose body fat and add lean muscle, you want to activate your muscle building hormones, then you must, you must incorporate fasting mimicking meals along with your intermittent fasting protocol because our bodies have, our, our bodies are designed to eat like that, guys. We're not designed to be uh, carboholics. We're not designed to eat a lot of, uh, Alt or uh, processed uh, starchy carbs like most of the American public is. That's why we have an issue with uh, uh, being, being one of the uh, unhealthiest countries and overweight countries in the world. But um, the protocol that I'm going to explain to you guys is, is one that we've been following for quite a few years, for a few years now. Uh, we tried it on different clients. It seems to work very well because it's very simple. And it follows science. And the reason why it's very simple to follow for most people is because we are incorporating um, alternate day fasting with the intermittent fasting or if we're doing a longer fast. See, right now, Emma and I are at the end of our uh, two weeks of doing a 23-hour fast with a one-hour eating window, still working out hard. And we're having no issues, no, uh, no real issues with hunger waves. We haven't lost any strength, no energy. Uh, we're still recovering as we walk out of the gym. We have changed our workout to working out three days a week, interval strength training, and three days a week uh, interval cardio moderately for 20 minutes. But we're not having any issues with that. I have lost a little more body fat, which I was trying to do, especially off my back. But it seems like what really works well for us to add that lean muscle still at our age and to keep uh, burning off some of that body fat that we might be holding on to is we're doing an alternate day fasting, which means Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and Sundays, we're doing our normal higher meal, higher calorie meals and making sure we're keeping our protein up. We're doing at least three quarters of a gram of protein per body fat or per pound of, of body weight. That's an average. So we're getting in enough protein because we're having higher calories Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Well, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, we'll do a 20-hour fasting, which means after 6 o'clock on Monday or Wednesday or Friday, we don't snack. Uh, we have black coffee, or we will have some of our hydrogen-rich water, which you guys know, know as being the most uh, powerful antioxidant and uh, healthiest water you can possibly drink. But what we're doing is we're stopping our meal around 6 o'clock. We're not having any snacks. We're going until 2 o'clock the following day 
to have our first meal and we're always going to break our first meal with something that's uh, very easy on our stomachs like uh, some kind of a lean meat or a protein shake we want to make sure we're bringing in enough protein at least uh, a minimum of three grams uh, at that meal and then we'll have a snack between uh, two o'clock and uh, six o'clock that fasting day and it'll always be some type of lean protein and then we have our main meal which is going to have higher good fat like uh, I do a tablespoon of uh, uh, olive oil and then we'll have my avocado with a lean piece of meat I make sure I have enough protein those of you that are seniors like us you got to make sure you're having enough protein you you do not metabolize protein as well as your younger counterparts do so you have to actually have more protein than they do and and really guys it's been a myth that people that uh, doctors and health professionals been telling older seniors that they got to watch their protein intake now most of you seniors aren't even bringing in enough protein and that's why you're having issues with um, muscle pull pulling your muscles or you're falling or you're breaking bones is because most of you are uh, protein deficient guys and so this is the protocol that we'll be following most likely for the rest of our life you have to build up to this protocol though guys you need the guidance of a specialist or professional that knows about fasting mimicking meals or keto meals knows about intermittent fasting and knows about alternate day fasting and science has been showing us for the last few years that alternate day fasting seems to be the uh, easiest and most likely the healthiest way to incorporate uh, intermittent fasting into your lifestyle because we all know who follow me that science is promoting this way of life because of the benefits to many disease models that the American public seems to be having and how these protocols will actually help those disease models especially for those with type 2 diabetes or fatty liver disease or insulin resistance and many many more but they got to be done right and you got to do it step by step by step you can't just jump into this protocol that I'm talking about it could take you 60 days it could take you 90 days it could take you 180 days it just depends on how uh, educated you are and the types of meals you're you're actually eating and are you eating enough to satisfy you to take you to those 20 hours of fasting times and you also have to teach your body your body right now if you're a carboholic or if all you, you've been eating multiple multiple meals a day your body has no idea how to dip into its own stored body fat because it doesn't need to why should it you're eating so many calories and so many carbs and those carbs are converting into sugar which are sitting in your liver and sitting in your muscles to be used later at, or actually sitting in your fat cells because you keep gaining fat to be used later as energy so it doesn't need to dip into your belly fat or body fat you see what I'm getting at guys so guys go to my billmaveryonlinecoaching.com check out our website and also guys check out uh, our, my website on what hydrogen rich water really is and the link to that will be in this description set so you guys have a great day my time's up. It looks like I'm on time today, so have a good one. We'll see you guys at the next video.